this is actually another huge milestone in our sailing adventure. This is kind of a huge day. I'm really excited. All right, that's it. We're untied and we're underway. Trying to avoid the logs, trying to pay attention to the engine. Welcome to Bums on a Boat. My name is Michael and this is Joel. We are finally ready to leave the dock and head out to a mooring bowl, which seems like a small step, but we haven't moved our boat in over a year and we've completely rebuilt our steering and system of propulsion. This small step is more like a crazy giant leap. Subscribe and join us on this exciting adventure. It's only just bigger. These are the tales of Boab. Don't worry guys, it's not as bad as it looks. We had the dinghy in the water, and then we noticed there was a leak. We could hear it, so we pulled it out. We patched it up yesterday. Patch is all set and ready to go. We're gonna pump it up, put it in the water, and we got a surprise for you. Well, I think he got a little too excited there, but um, our outboard finally started. We've been battling it with it for a month now. So that's why he's so stoked. I am too, but you know, Joel kind of gets a little bit more carried away than I do. Um, if he ever comes back here, I'll have him explain what the problem was and how we actually solved it. We've been fighting with this outboard for a long time, over a month. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, all the things we tried. If you're really interested, you can go back and just watch some of the episodes. We talk about what we're working on and how we're failing over and over. You can go through the comments and get a lot of good ideas. All I wanna cover is what our issue was and how it was fixed. The issue was when you'd start the outboard, it would we got it to start, we'd actually drive it for a little bit, it, it'd work and then it would cut out after 20 seconds or so. Somebody said if you hold the fuel tank over your head, over the outboard, and it keeps running and running and doesn't cut out like it's been doing, that should tell you that it's the fuel pump. I was dead set against it being the fuel pump because we just bought a new fuel pump and it was a new fuel pump was installed on there. But there was a little snafu and I actually had to take the new fuel pump off and rebuild it just a little bit and I did that incorrectly. So what we have here this is a combination of three fuel pumps in front of me here. So we have a Frankenstein fuel pump on the outboard right now. There's a lot of tiny little diaphragms, gaskets. This is a little spring, and then there's even a tinier spring. All these kind of fit together like a sandwich. My problem was the fuel pump was not oriented correctly. There's, there's an intake valve and an outtake, and so when I would blow on it, when it was completely assembled, it was kind of like blowing through a straw. And it just, it would go straight through. And sometimes when I would assemble it, I would blow on it and it would be blocked. It, there would be no flow. So I knew that that was incorrect. The final rebuild, I put it all together. I watched, uh, I think Brandon's Garage. Brandon's Garage was this YouTube channel. I watched him rebuild this Evinrude fuel pump probably eight or nine times and I tried to follow him and if you just get one little thing wrong this this baby doesn't work and this time when I blew through the intake valve it seemed clogged at first and I was like a little bummed out and then I gave it a little more pressure and then it actually went through but it felt kind of like that kind of like you're blowing in a trumpet it wasn't a free flow but it wasn't blocked it was like like I said like that. And so we put the fuel pump on and boom, she's been running good ever since. She's back to her old self, or I should say he, sorry. Uh, we call him One One Pool Johnny. I think he's, he's back to his old self. Uh, his other nickname is Long Dong Johnson. I think that this means it's time to move on with phase whatever, whatever's next, the next phase. Uh. Monday and, uh, let's see, Sundays, we have, uh, Texas Hold'em, Texas Hold'em. That's Norm on the net. 
um, we're we're listening, but we're also prepping. We decided we're gonna move the boat today, no matter what. The last couple of days have been raining uh, relentlessly. We're gonna go scope it out, see where we're headed, find the ball, pick our line. There's a lot of shallow spots in the bay, so we gotta be careful as we're pulling up to that mooring ball. This is actually nothing, by the way. It rained so hard that it was about to come over the transom back here twice. This isn't so bad, but I am, you know, in ankle deep water, so I figured I might as well get that out of here. What do you think, Lola? You excited for this dinghy ride, Lola? Also testing out Navionics. Thank you, Tony and Maria. My brother got us this for my birthday. I think this is gonna be a great addition. We just want to make sure it's tracking us and yeah, right. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey! After all the rains, there was just sticks and buckets and you name it floating around. It seems to have all been taken out with the tide, but we're kind of watching for that, making sure there's nothing that we can foul our prop on. Yeah. Oh, it was all nice new shackles and everything. Hard to tell now, of course. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take long. Michael, and you'll just grab those lines and one goes on the starboard and one goes through the port. Yeah. Yeah, it off. super easy. What is that, Lola? Yeah. Wow. You're gonna take a bite? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to swim away. He's trying to get away. Let's set him free. too much coffee as usual but look who else is really stoked Lola do you know what's going on old girl I think she can feel the energy now she's been on a moving boat a couple times before but this boat the last time she was on it and we were going places we were going into the marina the dry dock and she was probably too young to remember do you remember that Lola do you remember going into the dry dock oh thank you I don't think she remembers it, but this is a pretty exciting day for all of us. We're disconnecting from the mooring ball out there first, and then we're gonna come back around and undo the dock lines, and then we're free to go, and we put it in gear, and we hope she goes. That's Joanne out there. Definitely one of the savviest boatyard salves. All right, that's it. We're untied and we're underway. Pulling away. Feeling good? Is it looking good? It's okay. Yeah. I wasn't able to look as far down as I could, but man, it, I, I felt like I, hasta luego. <laughs> I can't contain it any longer. Okay, I'm back to my position up here at the bow. I'm looking for stuff. 
We've got our hand signals down. If I see anything in the water, I gotta point the way that Joel needs to go. Hopefully that didn't confuse him. I was pointing a little bit. So we scoped out our path earlier in the dinghy. We're trying to find the deepest, well, the best route, the deepest route. There are, oops, sorry, got you with the line there. Um, there are some gnarly shallow shoals out there, but basically if we go where the boats are, we know that it's gonna be pretty got deep. The hook, I got the boat hook, yeah. Okay. Now, we were hoping to do this before it got a little windy, but the wind's already picking up. I can see it on the water, maybe you can too. So that's gonna play a little bit of a factor in getting onto our mooring ball, but we did the best we could. It's probably around nine o'clock right now. Here we go. All right, we're getting to the point where we really need to navigate. We're coming up on the channel here. This is where the what? Yeah, this is where the logs are, kind of in the middle of the channel. When we were scoping it out, it was an out tide. It still probably is an out tide, so everything was headed out. It's probably not all the way out, so I'm gonna keep an eye out. You guys help me look. Looks okay so far. What's up? Okay. I've got it tied off. Should I not tie it off? I would, yeah, I would. Don't worry about it. Okay. Worst case, we might need to throw the anchor. I'm going to, I'm going to untie it while I'm keeping an eye out. I can't believe that wind picked up so fast. Look at my shirt, it's flapping in the breeze. Oh, there's a log. See it? I think he's gonna miss it though. He's going in between those two boats. Oh, do you see that one? That's a sleeper, it looks like a gator. Out there, oh. Are you, you, you don't want me to go that way, do you babe? No. Sorry, I'm confusing Joel. I'm pointing out logs to you guys and he's getting confused. My bad, babe. I'm just pointing out all the dead logs to, to the viewers. Ah! We caught a log with the dinghy here. That was a little unfortunate. We missed it with the main boat, but now it's stuck. Don't know what to do about that. Just leave it. We're coming up to the ball. You feeling good, Joel? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm, in, uh, I'm in mob mode though right now. You're um, looking good. A lot of logs and stuff. Trying to avoid the logs, trying to pay attention to the engine. She's purring. So far, so good. She sounds like she's purring, really. All right, another dead log up here. All right, guys, this is the final stretch. We're in the slot. I'm gonna get my gloves on. I'm probably gonna set you guys down, so um, I guess if anything crazy happens, I'll, I'll grab you, but, but maybe not. I'm just gonna be in the zone here, so hang tight. We'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at Allison and Miles. Very dirty. Hello. If you uh, come into Luperon, you're definitely gonna have to get a hold of them for like, what are some of the main things that people can get from you? Like, I know you guys oh, do pretty we, much everything. Yeah, we could, we do solar panels, uh, batteries, six volt battery, 12 volt batteries, uh, sombrella, of course. We do canvas work. We look after boats, which is real fun. <laughs> We've got plenty of them for the hurricane season. It's looking good. Nice. So that's Artemis on channel 68, right? Woohoo! Artemis on 68. They definitely made this a lot less <laughs> stressful by coming out, leading us through, giving us the lines. Thank you guys. Just let it happen. Come what may. I will stand by you no matter what they say. 
thank you for watching. We're so excited to be out on the mooring ball. Once you transition from living on a dock to being on a mooring ball, it's the big league. Things get a little more difficult, a little, you know, dicey at times. You guys maybe could feel the excitement. I hope you got a little bit of that energy. And we're just, yeah, we're just so thankful to be out here. It's pretty awesome. The next step in the grand adventure. I know you guys are jacked as we are, so hit that like button. Smash it if you want. You know, we like to tell you to smash it. If you're new to our channel, thanks for uh, sticking all the way to the end, sticking with us to the end. Consider subscribing. We're, we're just starting. We got so much more to do. It's really only just begun. It's only just begun. These are the tales of Boaz. Focus. Boab! Lola dipped. How come you're so quiet?